Hi folks, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back I'd love it if you stayed and subbed. I spend a lot of time going on about how much of the house Lisa has and it suddenly occurred to me that not everybody's going to understand how much room she has and how little room everybody else has so I thought I'd show you her empty house tour so if you haven't seen it you can see her empire and how she doesn't use it and if you have then you don't need to watch <laughs> turn the sound off hang on because i was just going to talk over it but i thought i may as well let her do the tour and you can see how fucking giddy and obnoxious she is just closed and john is getting stuff out of my car <laughs> there's the toilet paper first things first right so I think we're going to take that tree out and that one and replace them with palm trees. Other than that, we're pretty cool with the front. And our grass is Bermuda. We've never had Bermuda. We've had Centipede and St. Augustine, but Bermuda is best to be good. And um, so here's my front porch. I've already... My. Do you hear it? Straight off. My. Ordered the two rocking chairs and then I ended up ordering the matching little table to go with it and on this side I just can't decide if I want to do the swing let me show it to you see that's what I don't understand this is the front of the house and she's putting in rocking chairs and possibly a swing how many people sit out the front of their house is that a thing in America that you'd sit at the front or is it because she's got absolutely no backyard whatsoever at this house okay do i want to do a swing or do i want to just do a bench right there i don't know so okay the front doors and we just got the keys so we'll have to um i want to use that code so i don't have to get my keys out so yeah. we'll do that tonight and oh, it's so difficult having to get the key out and open, unlock the door. And I'm sorry, if you've just signed and you and your husband have turned up at your brand new house and you've just signed for it, wouldn't that be the time that he'd carry her over the threshold, they'd be all giddy and they'd be dancing around their new home and pointing at things and planning what they're doing. No, she's showing us. She could have shown us afterwards. I know for a fact, if I got a new house, I won't be fucking filming it for you lot. I'd be as giddy as fuck <laughs> and I'd be dancing around and I'd probably go and lock myself in my ensuite bathroom and never come out. But do you know what I mean? It's like, isn't this their time to be proud of what they've bought? And I don't know. And I want to get matching two big wreaths to go on here. So you come in the front door and this is the dining room. It makes me laugh when they say, this is the dining room. It's not a room. It's an area. And the ceiling and... <laughs> is it really a ceiling? That's Ooh. kind of like a little area for a buffet and I believe we're going to get a round table to go in there and then you guys have pretty much seen all this but it's just an open floor plan the kitchen the little breakfast nook i'll take you over there and then the back porch and then that's something that we changed there was built in you know cabinets and shelving right there and we got that taken out or not put in the plan and then that is our fireplace that we're going to put in right there for some reason the builders just did not want to put that in but it's already framed to go in and we've got someone coming so it's one of those long you know flush fireplaces and then the tv will go above that and then another thing we changed is yeah i love how they changed that yeah that there that wall was supposed to be 
window doors to John's office. And she decided, no, we can't have that because it won't be tidy. Like you know how to keep anything fucking tidy. There was supposed to be like double doors, glass doors right there going into John's study. But I have just learned that that's the first thing people look at when they come in the door was in that study. And I didn't want to have to make him keep it clean. And I just, you know, and I would like to put a great big, huge mirror there. so I Of course you would. Big, huge mirror so you can look at yourself. You can do my outfits of the day. You've got the whole upstairs to do your fucking outfit of the day. And always have a good mirror with good light. So that's that. So we just, I think this was an option anyway, in case they, in case you wanted to turn this into a bedroom to put the door over here. So here's his study. Just See the tiny weeny little study he's got. And I'm calling it tiny weeny, not in UK terms. That would be a bedroom. That would be one of the major bedrooms. Not the third bedroom. The third bedroom is probably the size of the toilet. But compared to the amount of room she has, this is nothing. Kind of plain Jane. And for all the paint colors, that is on my stories, on the house highlights. So, um, and then we did upgrade all the... Uh, Closet, you know, no wire. We did the wood on all. No wire hangers. <laughs> if you know, you know. The closet. So John actually, see, there's a plug in here. I think he's gonna put like the printer and stuff like that in there. So, and then this is Will's room and Will's bathroom that he's gonna have to share with John. Or anybody else who visits the house. Because he hasn't got his own private bathroom. Unlike Princess Brooke. So we've got to get shower rods for Will and Brooke. And so this is going to be his own bathroom. I'm not even, I told John he can go to our bedroom. Because mm. I want him to have some privacy. So Of course you do. Yeah. Here's his room, and it's cool because he has this pocket door. So if you shut that door right there to his bathroom, he can just leave oh, this pocket yeah, that's door. Kind of thing. I didn't realize he had that door. So just lock that one, and then no one can come in, can they? Open, and then he can shut the door to his room and have his own little space in here. Little being the operative word. And, and then his closet's pretty basic mm -hmm. unlike mommy's just a closet closet what's a closet closet okay and the whole house is the same color except for i think upstairs i did the super white but otherwise it's all the same color i just wanted it to be all the same and flow okay so this is brooke's little area over here and I like that that area is nice and wide. Why? And why is there not a door? Got this little crazy little closet. I don't really know what it's supposed to be for. Like vacuum cleaner, maybe. Linen, towels, faux furs. Maybe, or some kind of storage. I don't know. I told her that she could use it. Oh, that's so kind of you. It's in her area, so of course she can fucking use it. Jesus. And here's her room, and we've got the shades. We've got the level or, you know, kind of, um, we've got the room darkening shades coming. That room looks green to me. It doesn't look the same as the rest of the house. And... We just went ahead and got all the ceiling fan. I mean, we picked them out, but we might change some of that. You know how that goes. No. So here is her bathroom. Ah, so she doesn't need that thingy. Oh, mommy was so kind giving you an extra closet, Brooke. Dark and... Hello. <laughs> Here's the hardware. And... 
shower and that was another little upgrade that we did is put those in both of their showers instead of having the you know stick on white things in the corner we went ahead and paid for that and same thing with the closets so here's her little potty toilet she's not, a... she's not fucking two closet like a linen closet she can put her makeup and stuff in and then what about her clothes she's got oh. her closet closet wow so tons of closet space she's got her privacy and that right there is not the house is up here that is like a um, big garage with a, like an apartment over it so that's what that is like i said you don't move here for a big lot okay then let's go on the back porch it's um like three doors See if this one's open. Okay. And then it's like that out here. You're not even there and you're running the electric. And then I don't know, we've got we bought two new grills. I bought one of those that you guys told me about. I think it's the black, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the one that's like a flat top. Why did you buy two? And um, so we, like I said, we bought two new grills. That is the fire pit and it is hooked up to the gas. So it's like a, it's not a real, it's like a gas, not gas log, but you guys know what I mean. Right? You just click a button and we'll, in the winter time we can sit around that. And there's our little teeny slice of the waterway right there. And that's it. I love it. I love that our backyard is that small. And then there's a- Do you though? Do you really? Do you really love it that it's that small and you're on top of your neighbors, really? Um, palm tree over there, I don't know if you can see it on the corner. And that little tree right there, they need to come fix. So back in the house, and we're not gonna put any lines on these sliding glass doors. And I really, I don't think I'm gonna put any blinds up there either. I want it as open as possible. So for now, I'm just doing the bedrooms. Okay, and then here's our kitchen. So we got the Gen Air double oven. Like you know what that is. And this is John's own cabinets for all of his vitamins and everything are gonna go out there and his coffee maker and all that stuff. Oh, wow, look at the teeny tiny bit of counter space that it's all John's, isn't he lucky? And a cupboard, woo! And we've got the matching refrigerator coming tomorrow, I believe. It matches the appliances. There is the microwave. It's the kind that is a drawer. And then our range. This is my first time ever having a gas range and it's gen air and so is the hood and the hood does vent outside and um i don't know if y'all want to know every little upgrade we did but we did upgrade the cabinets i think we upgraded everything we could to be honest with you and there's the because it couldn't possibly just have the same as everybody else no and everybody else probably upgraded as well, so you will have the same as everyone. Drawers underneath the burners, oven or stove, and then this is like the trash here. And the countertops look like marble, but they are actually quartz. And then, so glad we did this. We opted for the one big sink and the black faucet and then there i think even the dishwasher is gen air so there's all of that and so there is the breakfast nook and it has the do you really need a breakfast nook and a dining room area really can you not just have a table and use that other area for something else. I, I can't 
I mean, you're going to eat. <laughs> I mean, do normal people that cook and have food at home, do they have breakfast in the breakfast nook and then have dinner in the dining area? Really? I just, I just don't see the point of having both. Considering that there's just the four of them, What? why? And now there's just the three of them. It's silly if you I ask me. I remember what that ceiling's called. Cofford ceilings, I believe. And a little nook there to put a little table. And then here is our bedroom. So, come in. And there it is. And so we've got one big closet over here. One big closet over here that she uses and then has a rolling rack with coats and fucking tops and God knows what and shoes and bags beside it. Why? Why is the rolling rack not in the fucking closet out of the way? I think... I mean, look at the size be... of the fucking thing. It's huge. <sighs> I get wound up because she's so fucking selfish. That's what annoys the shit out of me. Not because she has stuff. I couldn't give a fuck. It's because of the selfishness. There it is. And so we've got one big closet over here. I think this will be, this might be my main closet. Main. And then we had an option in the model home. That right there was a, a little closet facing out that you could put like a little coffee bar or something. But we chose just to put that space behind it and connect it to the other closet. So you'll see that in a minute, connect it to the linen closet. And um, so here is our bathroom. And let's see. So this is that closet. So just ended up being like the linen closet and then a regular closet. And I think John is just gonna take this one because he does not have a lot of clothes. His are mostly folded now that he doesn't, now that he's retired. And then we can put sheets and towels and stuff right there. Yeah, and then put all the linens in John, John's closet because he's got so much room. Why can't you put the bed linen and whatever in the other closet in the bedroom? Try not to make you guys sick. And then this is another closet that I don't know. I haven't decided like where I'm putting everything. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I think um, I asked someone about a professional organizer and I'm gonna try to, they're supposed to send their name to me. So this is another big closet that I might, I don't know. We hadn't decided all that yet. I got a lot of closets now. Don't you though? Okay, and then here is our bathroom. I love these mirrors. Right, I have look at big... that big, long area there with the sink in and the huge mirror and all the drawers underneath. That's just for Lisa. Just her. She doesn't share it with John. John goes off in the corner. And when she's doing her hair, she does it at John's thing. Really? Mirrors at our old house. And then when everybody started doing the framed mirrors, I had John take my down and put the framed mirrors up and it was never the same because it cast a shadow and you didn't get to see as much as of your like outfit and everything. So I'm very thankful to have the big mirrors. Um, and then right here, that was a place for a chair to sit, but I opted to have more drawers. So I'm gonna be putting my makeup back in my bathroom. Looking forward to that. And then here's our shower. So there's the little... What, no tub to put all your hair stuff in? Nooks for shower stuff. And then the little... You just know she's going to use all the nooks and John will have nowhere to put anything. All this stuff. Looking forward to that. And then the little potty over there. And, then and there's John, see? Teeny tiny little sink. In the corner behind the door. Second thought, John. John's. 
section over there. Flip, flip, flop, okay. flop. So back out to the living room and the kitchen, front door. So when you go around this way, that is the door to the garage. Show us the garage. This then. is another closet. Another one. Like a coach closet. And then the, like a, I don't know what you call this. It's like a little entryway with the hooks for your jacket and wheels book bag and stuff like that. And then there's this double closet that has the shelves. So this will just be great for random storage. And then the laundry room, we did order a shade for that. And we have a new washer and dryer coming and they're gonna pick up our old one. We tried to give our old ones away, but <laughs> the cleaning girls didn't want them. They are, they're still work, but they're beat up. But um, washer and dryer. You tried to give beat up old washer and dryer to people, really? Oh, and now you want us to believe that you're out buying toys and things for families that don't have anything. Fuck off. Dryer there, and I just ha can't remember what else was supposed to be in here, but I opted to not get it because I want I want that thing that was I saw on Pinterest where it was <laughs> like three shelves and you had three baskets, and like one basket goes to our room, one to Will's, one to Brooke. That way, when I fold their clothes, I can put them in the basket and they can take it to their room. And then I've got this side. I don't know what I'm going to do with. I might have some cabinets made. And Wouldn't you have decided that and got it done when the house was being built? And then this is John's garage all the way. I've told him. Oh, this is John's all the way. I've told him he has control of the garage. I bet he's super fucking pumped, isn't he? What a lucky man. He gets the garage. Whoop, whoop. Do what he wants with this garage. My brother gave him some really cool shelving that goes up high. And he had that thing done to the floor. I don't know what it's called, like epoxy or something. And we do have a separate unit air condition for out here conditioning here because the kitties have to stay out here at night and john's got this room out here that he's going to put his bitcoin he does bitcoin he does x i don't know he does all kinds of stuff like that and he has a bunch of monitors and um he has to keep them cool so he's putting them out here and we've already gotten a water softener and they're bringing they're putting that in oh yes we have to have the water softener don't we for poor widow lisa's hair because she cried at the rental because it it didn't have a water softener and it wasn't very nice pampered fucking i can't i think tomorrow i think tomorrow yes and i think that's just our water heater there and um, we did extend our garage six feet. So the garage will be a little bit bigger. Okay. And I love having the bricks here. That's just such a little thing, but our other house, it was wood and they just kind of got yucky. Yes, because they need upkeep. Okay, and then my room studio is up here that you never fucking use and we did hardwood throughout and um, i'll put that on my highlights too the exact wood right so here is look at the size of that room and that's just part of it all that room just for lisa to do with as she will but yet she still needs to be downstairs in the dining area. It's like the outer, it's kind of like an apartment or something up here. The outer room. And then this is a closet. That's what I don't know is what to put where. So I've got this closet, kind of like a coat closet. And then we've got this area. 
This is what she turned into the shining closet. Here that we are gonna finish. So we're gonna sheetrock and wall all of this and the unit, we've got a separate unit up here that can cool it. And we've already got the sheetrock up here to sheetrock in this area. There's the shining closet. And because we added onto the garage, it's kind of extra long. And I'm going to have some, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do, shoe shelves, it's gonna be some type of closet, you know, storage area, but not How many times can she say closet? Nice and cooled. And right, so all this is hers. Pretty. And then we're gonna put the same flooring. It's just something that they wouldn't do. So oh, we're just having it done. Then. So then right now it's just this. That closet to the right is hers. And then I think we pay to this have the mold. Entire room is hers. Being put up here. And then this is my bathroom and I love it. It's my bathroom. Your bathroom's downstairs with an 85 fucking foot countertop and umpteen fucking drawers for all your makeup. Something so different for me. It's like a little sage green. And then I, my favorite thing is I love the floor of the shower. It's like the pebbles. How many times have you used it, I wonder? And so this goes through here. Which is hers. And so that's a closet. So you could use this, you know, like as a bedroom. I mean, this is a bedroom up here. And that's but I'm her office. Use it for my desk and my stuff. That's storage that we'll, we will use for storage. And then I've got the double doors coming in this room. And I can't decide where I'm going to put my bed. I know that it, you know, somewhat makes sense to put the bed there. It's a queen. But I want to use that for filming. I want to use that. What bed? You never put a bed up there. And what sort of bed was it going to be? And if it was going to be your bed that you slept in, then why the fuck do you need all that bathroom space downstairs if you're going to use this up here to sleep in and wash and do whatever? Makes no sense. That light. So, and then out here is my porch up here. My porch. And... John's going to bring me some rocking chairs over here. Just buy me some white ones, probably. So... Just buy me some white ones, probably. Oh, make it sound like it's so fucking dowdy that you're just going to have white rocking chairs up there. It's all yours! And you're still not fucking happy! So, there's our little slice of the water. Of course, they're building everywhere because it's new. There's the... Do you understand now why she irritates the ever-living fuck out of me? I don't understand. And in that video, you saw her where she was decluttering her closet. What was she doing? Hanging her clothes in John's. How many fucking closets does she need? He had one tiny little closet and she even had to put a mark in there. Fucking narcissist. I hate them. Hey, oh, I let a fly in. Brooke is going to try to stay here tonight already. And then I can shut that door when I'm filming to keep the noise down. So I think that's it. What noise? Your family aren't allowed to make noise. You guys. Downstairs. I don't know what to tell you is my favorite. I guess upstairs I'm looking forward to that. And I think I love the kitchen too. Like I said, we ordered, we could probably fit six bar stools, but we just ordered four so they won't be too crowded. 
and we've got to buy new tables. We already sold our other table. Oh, and I showed you the pantry, didn't I? And one thing we added in the pantry is the little outlet so we can put our water bottle in here. And those are like the solid shelves. What water so. bottle? Okay, thank you guys so much for just going through this with me. It made it even sweeter. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm sure it did make it even sweeter, didn't it? Bragging. Oh, look. Oh, look what we got. Sky looks amazing there, doesn't it? Anywho, thank you if you got to the end with me, and I'll catch you in the next one.